Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Greetings beloveds, I come to you in peace. I transmit today the golden light from the city of light where the ascended masters dwell. Bathing you in the energy of the fifth dimension, the realm of the archangels and high energy beings. This light feels liquid, and you sense its golden color as you attune to the energy coming in through your crown chakra upon orienting to me, and calling forth our connection. This light will protect you from the denser energies being stirred up on your planet by the approach of Venus and the alignment of the June solstice. These are potent alignments which are already being anticipated energetically, for the planets do not move into these alignments suddenly, of course it is gradual and thus it is felt gradually. The new day dawns within you, orienting you to ways of being, old and familiar, expansive and evolved. This light that is you informs your being in ways that you realize more and more and nourishing this energy within you is your primary purpose as human beings on the timeline of all times. Realizing you are alone in this world, you begin to look for ways of connecting. Realize you are wanting connection you feel lack. Realizing you are nearly complete within yourself you discover competence. Realizing you are one with everything, you come back to self. The progression of the human being has followed all of these lines through time and at this point you are approaching newness in ways that stretch your imagination to unfold. You must bring your imagination to your lives with a sense of authenticity and truth for that which you are. The authenticity of that which you are will indicate the way life ought to be. It will inspire you as to the shape and forms of your relating to others and to all forms of life. As you express and explore your ways of healing your relationship to yourself and to all forms of life, you reinvent the human templates for civilization and culture and newness is born. Each of you carries in your preferences and your interests, the lineages of your soul lines across time. These fragments of your I am have meaningful qualities of light and information and come forth into your stream of consciousness as you gradually refine your vibration. Each of you must learn to feel and cultivate your own vibration. To realize the blissful states which are possible can and will be sustained as you make this a priority and place your allegiance upon these states of being rather than on perpetuating the limiting patterns of culture that you have come to feel as yourself, in their familiarity. Do not let familiarity define you. Realize that you are far more than you have yet expressed and much that feels familiar may simple be that familiar. What is unfamiliar and what in fact contradicts the habits and patterns of culture is in fact what might set you free. Realize that you each have within you the capacity to reform and reinvent your entire system of being. You have been hearing this for some time now that the new human will come forth and have significantly expanded capacities and energy than the prior paradigm of experience. Did you truly believe this would happen without changes to your own energy system? created by changes in your focus, your behavior, your patterns, and your ways of choosing to express and care for your life energy. Change happens in many ways during these times and we wish to remind you that you will first experience change as loss as a feeling that you are losing something, having to let something go. Then you might have an experience that you are making the change, not sure where it will take you, not sure how long it will last, if you've made the right choice a feeling of newness but uncertain as to its reliability and implications. Then, eventually you will have transformed and you will experience this newness that originally felt like loss as abundance and expansiveness. You will realize that in making these changes and becoming new that you have liberated your bliss. You will feel grateful and rich in these changes. A big difference from feeling loss and lack, you will vibrate and experience abundance and well-being. So remember that change and transformation is a process. Realize that creating a life based on the inner ideals of happiness and joy will lead you to paths you might never expected to encounter and which might feel challenging to you, as they may uproot deep familiarity and comfort and so seem very challenging to embrace and become. This is all a lead-in, do you feel it? Smile. For now I am going to share with you that which you are perhaps going to encounter with great resistance and so I wanted to begin by sharing these reminders to create a context in which I will now tell you, 
the time for altering the physical vessel is at hand. You have experienced many changes in your mental understandings and have learned many of you to quiet your mind in the service of your heart. You have oriented to the heart and discovered the many feelings there. You have allowed and released and healed and cleared many limiting beliefs and the emotional patterns linked to these beliefs. Many of you have had physical symptoms as you flow higher vibration, intensified and accelerated energy through your being. You are discovering where there is congestion. Now it is time to liberate the new human template within your body structure by feeding your body and caring for what you put in it, the same as how you cared for your mind and your heart. There is a strong momentum within the energy now which is being felt in the physical. This differs from earlier transmissions of light from beyond your realm in that now that the new human template for your bodies is online and available, we must work with you in the physical nature of your being to prepare you for ascension. Your physical body is your ascension vehicle. You will not be leaving this behind, you will and are transforming the energetic nature of this body from within the energy field that is your presence here. As you do this you will increasingly embody more and more light and this alters your cells and changes the nature of your energy as it is structured, physically. Up until now the physical body has been slow to accommodate higher vibration light. More and more now you will be drawn into new ways of living which support the physical body getting in the game so to speak, in terms of its capacity to begin to truly prepare for ascension. Living foods carry the highest frequency of energy and you will be increasingly drawn toward living foods. You will realize that you are different when you eat them and that you can no longer long to participate in this important aspect of planetary evolution of vibration and consume lower energy foods predominantly in the same way that you cultivate your vibration with thoughts and cultivate your feelings to raise your vibration, the time has come to do so with food. The planet itself naturally harmonizes your energy regardless of what you put into your physical vessel, but the energy that you cultivate with prayer, meditation, and the powerful emotional energy of love is often dissipated or diluted by the foods you eat. All forms of nutrition have a place in life on earth and at this time the evolution of your being alerts you to the potential as yet untapped by many to most of you to ingest primarily living foods as a means of creating a sustained, high-frequency vibration. This choice supports the evolution of vibration that is needed by the body in order to ascend in a sustained manner and enter into Shamhala, the city of light that exists already on your planet and has paved the way for your own life in so many ways by broadcasting from within your realm the living energies of light that you each carry within you. Today I transmit to you these truths so that you may begin to approach the care and cultivation of your energy in a way which takes advantage of the powerful new capacities of your physical body. I also share with you the golden light energy of the city of light where the ascended masters dwell, to amplify within your field the energy of the holy city, the new Jerusalem, that is available and increasingly amplified by your focus on love. The manifestation of the new Jerusalem will occur in phases. As each of you are ready to embody more of your light you will become a city of light and when we come together we create a network of these cities and increasingly the energy of these cities of light will form into communities of light beings on your planet, familiar with this realm and others, with participation from this realm and others and the collaboration and cosmic families you each attend to and participate in will become a conscious, living, breathing aspect of your life here on Earth. We speak of this conscious connection with great anticipation and joy. We know that in our increasingly conscious communion great shifts and healing is possible. As your relationship to yourself and your planet is healed, you move into the potential realized, of new life. You create this potential as manifest reality by and through the imperative of vibrational evolution. New life born on the planet will carry these codes and templates of being inherently. There are, already, within young communities, many who realize the benefits of living foods and the correlation to states of love. You will need, my dear friends, to explore the nature of this potential experientially. Although my words may make sense to you, the visceral experience of your body on living foods will be what brings this truth to light for each of you. So with this, I say, have an apple and by all means increase your intake of all things green. 
The sun transmits codes and energy to you in many ways, and one of the most easy ways to manifest in physical reality the templates of light sent by the sun is to ingest plant foods which have already taken this energy and pre-paved it into form for you by growing into rich, beautiful, vibrant green, plant forms. Life all around you has prepared the pathway home for you. Open your eyes to the abundant nourishment that is present and available as fuel for your journey home. The transmission of the energy from the City of Light will assist you with the patterns and habits of eating that will need to shift for you to make these changes. This golden light has a natural affinity with living foods and so you will find you are more and more drawn toward this lifestyle and it will support your ascension. It is time to begin to stabilize the body, the physical body, to dwell in higher and higher frequency and to perpetuate this, thus enabling manifestation of these frequencies on all planes on earth. Realize the newness that you are begets the world we speak of. Allow your being to come into full bloom of the potentials you now have. Trust in your own pace and be aware of subtle desires for migration toward a greater intake of living foods. Feel the denser patterns as energies which draw you toward old habits as they arise and sense the subtle, grace-filled path that is available to you now it may be felt and known, and it is distinctly resonant with the new light you carry, radiantly attractive, lit with the golden light of the new dawn. Your body has prepared long and in many ways, through eons, gone through very hard experiences to create the possibility for this way of being here and now. Liberate the lines of time within you to the newness you desire. Come forth into the golden light and live. I am beside you on this path, available to you in all ways. I am Archangel Michael.